Hi everyone, myself Harsha and in today's video, I am going to give you some information related to online training versus classroom training. Which one is better? And since the COVID uh, began past two years and we are experiencing so many candidates are attending online trainings. And previous to COVID, we used to have online trainings and classroom trainings being conducted like 50-50% means 50% of the people choose to join online and 50% of the people choose to join classroom trainings. Out of these two, which one is better and which one is more effective, which is going to give you best results? This is what we are going to discuss in today's video. Well, myself Harsha, I am a Pega trainer at Harsha Trainings and let's get into the video now. See, in order to understand which mode of training is better, here we need to discuss about some of the key factors. So, which are going to decide which uh, whether online training or classroom training is going to give you best results. See, there are many factors that depends on. See, if you are going to opt for online training, then so the internet connectivity should be good. So, if you have good internet connectivity and it will be okay that your online training is going to be effective. See, people, many, many students who are trying to learn the training programs from different academies, when they opt for online training, many have failed for the reason uh, because they are, they are staying in villages and there is no proper internet connectivity in some of the villages. As a result, their uh, their training sessions will be not so, uh, they don't feel like it is effective even though the trainer is delivering effectively. So, if you have good internet connectivity, that is an advantage that you are going to have when you opt for online training. And coming to the classroom training, when you are attending classroom training, there is no need of internet connectivity in case of classroom training. But you need to travel. So, for classroom training, you need to travel from one place to another place. So, traveling from one place to another place, so this is again uh, some difficult job. Like you have to travel, suppose if you are staying 25, just 15 kilometers away in Hyderabad anywhere, it will be highly difficult to travel in uh, during this uh, traffic timings and all. So, in the traffic it is very difficult to join. Suppose here, uh, if you are staying nearby, the academy okay so you wanted to take the training from let's say for example harsha trainings and if you're staying nearby if the distance to travel is just 30 minutes and it is good to take the classroom training so i will tell you the reasons why it is in few minutes again see the good or bad about online versus classroom training it depends on even other factors also let's say you are a graduate who is fresher. So, if you are a graduate who is fresher, means you just finished your graduation and you are looking for training and you are staying in your hometown. You are not in Hyderabad, you are in your hometown. Or you are a graduate who has finished their graduation with a career gap means they did not get the job since past two years or three years two three or five years like this maybe you have prepared for the exams of bank exams or government competitive exams and all and you wanted to learn the course from some academy where you are staying in your hometown or you might be in the same city as your training academy so let's consider hyderabad you are in hyderabad and even you are Training academy is also in Hyderabad. Maybe even you are in Hyderabad 25 kilometers away because the person is unemployed. That is the point here. The person is unemployed. It is always good to take the classroom training. I will tell you the reason why it is good to take the classroom training. Even by spending one hour of travel, if you join classroom training, there will be advantages for you instead of joining online training. Suppose if you are an employed resource, Okay, if you are employed, so you are employed into some company, okay, you are working an employee, you are working employee, then 
if this is not possible for you to travel and go back and join your office job then it is good to go ahead with online training because there is no such no no possibility you cannot travel because you are already employed so in your case it is not possible suppose if you are employed and uh, now it is work from home let's say work from home is not there it will not be there there by next six months uh, 90 percent it will not be there by next six months to one year uh, so let's let's consider the fact that you are you have to travel to office while traveling to office okay let's say your office timing is 10 o'clock but your class timings let's say your office timing is 10 o'clock class timing is 8 a.m in that case it is better you travel to your uh, classroom and take the classroom training once you finish here by 10 a.m you can reach your office this is the advantage okay this is this is the best way not the advantage i'm sorry this is the best way to go ahead and choose see i'll tell you the reason see over online classroom training is always better for many many people like unemployed students pressure graduates graduates with gap after education for all of you wherever you are you you just go ahead and take the classroom training the reason is very simple see if you are going to stay at your home and attend online training there are some disadvantages for the unemployed and freshers let me tell you opportunities wise you will have communication with your academy or trainer that's it whatever the academy that is going to tell you show you the opportunities and whatever the trainer that is uh, that your trainer is going to show the opportunities only those opportunities you will be applying and sitting at home you will find only one or two ways for applying the job that is by trainer as well as by your academy most of the cases by the academy not even by the trainer and you do not have chance to talk to the trainer personally for any questions and you do not have any coach students to talk to you okay there is a big disadvantage of not communicating with the coach students i'll tell you just in few minutes okay let's take classroom training you come down to classroom training and you are attending classroom training the advantages are anyhow you are going to get your academy uh, help or guidance and you can talk to your trainer directly after the session is done or before the session is done taking the permission from him and also classroom training many times it is little bit effective than online training for many people okay because they realize the uh, they will they will feel the reality and they understand better that is also another thing and moreover when you communicate with your co student let's say you have a group of 20 students along with you who are attending classroom training then you can discuss about many different job opportunities with other students other students may give you in some information about different job opportunities that they are applying for than the opportunities that are being shown by your trainer or your academy so you will find so many ways so many routes route one so in the classroom training route one route two route three route four different routes for job so different job routes you can find when you are there with the classroom training so the advantage with the classroom training is when you have communication with co-students there is a lot of information that you will gain from your co-students there are a lot of different paths you can uh, find in order to get into job and also when you sit with someone and try to practice the sessions which you have attended when you you can directly exchange the knowledge of you and when when your friend is going to get some doubt that doubt is going to give you some more better idea to understand the technology in a different way but this is not possible in online training so any one of you if you are trying to learn any course from any academy out of these two modes i always recommend recommend classroom mode of training if it is possible when there is no possibility at all then only one has to choose online training definitely the resources who are fresher graduates and who are unemployed who are looking to get into it industry who have free time over the day so many hours it is always better that you you are going to choose classroom training so that you are going to gain the benefit of sitting back at the classroom and practice and discussing with your co-students find so many paths are different routes for the job uh, job placements uh, apart from depending on academy but when you are sitting alone at the home only you have to 
uh, go with your academy shown opportunities and one more biggest disadvantage is that when you are there at your home your parents or maybe your relatives or someone else here and there your uh, anyone is going to tell you so many works so you have to go out and bring vegetables or you have to go out and pay current bills electricity bills or you have to go out and do some other tasks like this which is going to consume your time if you go out and come back for next to one hour you cannot do anything so that is also one big disadvantage when you are sitting at home and one more important thing when you are sitting at your home is many times you feel alone okay i am talking about only unemployed resources if you are employed already and you are looking for a career growth for you either online or offline is okay a classroom is okay but for freshers and unemployed i always recommend you go with classroom training so that is the best way to go ahead you might be asking me sir world is getting digitalized now everything is being online even people are not choosing live people are choosing the recorded sessions taking the training and all okay you can learn but remember one thing that learning there will be a lot of difference when you learn directly from a trainer when you directly interact with co students when you work in a group when you learn through a group okay and there will be so much difference definitely and there will be someone along with you to share your thoughts to share your feelings and like this so many opportunities are there when you are there with classroom training so that's why i always recommend classroom training when there is no possibility then only you go for online training okay i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you like the content in this video don't forget to subscribe our channel and this is harsha signing off thank you if you have any questions related to your career guidance please post your questions in the comment section of video once again bye bye harsha